thought story was he just had like a certain vibe about him that was like once I actually started like conversing with him I was like something is off with you like you have like a weird kind of like a dark vibe pick up on people's vibes a lot and like something was just very off with him and I felt like the same feeling about the DUI guy when I like actually started hanging out with the DUI guy and actually started talking to him I was like okay you have the same like energy as the stalker man like I don't know it's like they don't have like a light in their eyes like I was genuinely like my heart was beating out of my chest I'm like this man is about to like freaking try to kidnap me and chop me up into pieces right now like I'm actually genuinely scared for my safety and then after that he literally called me over and over and over and over and over and over and over again like hundreds of times would call me for the next couple days non-stop and it was actually scary and I didn't even meet him on hinge or anything I met him like in like in real life in person and not only that but I met him at my work so I was like serving and he was like my customer at my table and I was like oh my gosh like I so cute and then I was like oh my gosh I'm his server like that's my table that he's sitting at and he was like having a dinner or he was having lunch with his dad and like they were so normal and nice I liked it obviously I didn't talk to him that much I was just, like you know taking the order and whatever that was really it and then he like got my number after that so like after all that JP, I was, I was telling really crazy, scary date stories that have happened to me. Chat, what do we think about all these? Do, should I do more story times? Should I post more story times of like my crazy stories and experiences? You don't want to hear them? Let me know when you're done. Okay, at least Ben likes it. I feel like if I was watching this, I feel like I would have been pretty entertaining right now. JP missed out on DUI man, college man, and soccer man. That's on 40. If he doesn't want to hear your voice, just sit in silence. <laughs> You're lucky you can pick up on energy and can avoid things before they get worse. Thank you. I'm very, I, that's actually really true. I'm very grateful that I CJP. That's basically the gist of the first story that I told. The second story was Christians call it discernment. Yes. I definitely have discernment. These stories are wildly entertaining. Real life with like a new on MTV. I love that. Oh my gosh. If I had an MTV show, be so fun. Fun times. Yeah, fun, fun times. Or one time. Oh my gosh, I have another fun story for you guys. Okay, ready? So, me and my one friend are like out at these bars and we're trying to figure out like, what we're going to do like after this bar, like, what's the next move? Are we going to go to the hookah lounge? Are we going to another bar? Like what's the situation? And so then, my friend is like texting these guys, we're, like trying to figure out like what our plans are and trying to figure out like how we're going to get a ride there so that we don't have to pay for an Uber. Like my one guy friend's gonna come pick us up and then take us to this like, hookah lounge and like they'll 
chase for everything, like go get a spin, it'll be so fun, whatever. I'm like, cool, perfect. And then we're like sitting there waiting to be picked up, and he pulls up. Guess, guess what this man is driving? Guess what this man is driving, you guys? I'll just wait for a couple guesses. You guys, you gotta guess. Toyota Prius, Honda Civic, no, 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 no. A minivan, no. Chevy Blazer, no. You guys, he's driving a giant tow truck. A tow truck. Like one of the big, ginormous, ginormous ones. Like, <laughs> it was amazing. It was one of the craziest things I've ever seen, for sure. So what do we do? We hop on in the front seat of the tow truck, and then we drive to the hookah lounge in the tow truck. And like to park it, you have to like it doesn't even fit in like a parking spot. If you had to find like street parking, it took up like the whole fucking block. Basically. Can't tow a tow truck if you're parked anywhere. Oh, true. Yeah, but that was wild too. But that's really all the drama about that. Actually, well, and then after that, yeah, tow truck man. But I wasn't like talking to tow truck man. It was just like my friend's friend. But um, then he literally dropped me like after we went to the hookah lounge in the tow truck. Then he took us home in the tow truck. So like I literally got dropped off at my house in a giant tow truck, and I was like. It was literally like 4 a.m. or something at that point, and I was like, oh my gosh, like, I hope my parents don't see me get out of this tow truck right now. I was really scared. I was like, I'm gonna be in trouble. I'll pick you guys up in my work car, no, like, literally. And he didn't even tell us. Like, you could at least be like, hey, like, I'll pick you up right now, but, like, just so you know, like, I'm driving my tow truck. Like, no. He just pulled up, like, so casually, like, Where's the tow truck or the cop car? Ugh. I don't know. I think that, I don't know. I actually had, I had a great time in the tow truck. I was playing my music. Um, I, I, I had the off. I was... We were having so much fun. We were laughing together. 